What what about team ride biker? Is that is that um, is that I mean that's part of your your um, network, I guess. Yeah, yeah. Um, so I what is it about? it's kind of a, a complicated situation right now. I'm riding for ride biker right. uh, for the mountain bike season. I ride for like January to September, but I also have a contract with Aspire okay. that started and it will go through the end of the year. So it's kind of like I have overlapping. There's a little bit of overlap. There's a little bit of overlap. And so ride. Biker. Biker is mountain bikes. Yes. Okay. Yeah, and Aspire is road and cross. Yeah, road and cross. Oh, and right. And will you do any road races? Or? Yeah, I am actually. For the first time in a very long time, I'm going to do some road racing with Aspire. Oh, good, good, yeah, good. Just for experience. Yeah, tour the hill towns. Character yeah. development. Yep. We. Uh, I may not be able to race it because I usually volunteer, oh. drive a car. So. Oh, right. So you are one of the one of the, the, the great people who stand out there and, and one of these intersections yeah. for most of the day. I drove for the men's four race last year. And well, that, that, that it's a it, it, it's a loop, right? I mean, the um, the, the new version is going to be the old course, I think. Or, what, we only what drove it. We only did one loop last year. I see. I yeah. don't know. Is, I mean, this this is sort of off the off, off the topic here. We're talking about races, but but um, you know the, the the tour of the hill towns they turn it into a circuit race, but a long circuit. But the old one, the original one, sort of went all the way around that whole area, mm -hmm. and apparently they're bringing it back. But oh, cool. Whatever. So you'll do some road racing. Um, yeah, mostly crits. Yeah, exactly. Yep. The, I don't really like road yeah, that yeah, much. Exactly. I just I really that's like why. I mean, that's one of the reasons why cyclocross is so much more popular than than road racing is because you can watch it. Yeah, because people are coming around a lot. It's like short enough that right. there's action from the get-go. That's right. what I really like is you don't have to wait around for three hours for yeah. something to happen. Five. Yeah, five. What about your competitors? I mean, I mean, I mean not, not um, I mean, you don't have to name names, but what, what's the competition like at your, at your level of, of cyclocross racing? It's really good. I mean, in the U.S., you're going to see more, um, like, you're going to see, like, in the professional women's category mm -hmm. it's really good it's like very strong there this year going to nationals there were like 10 women any of which could have been on the um, elite women's podium mm -hmm. uh, and there's actually still a really good under 23 category mm -hmm. growing in the US which is really nice because I think for a while there was really only like one or two under 23 racers that were mm -hmm. like really really strong and racing well right. nationally uh, but now you're seeing like five or six even ten girls that are really wow. racing well and will hold their own in the elite women's category. Mm -hmm. uh, and then, yeah, I really like... It, I mean, in Europe, it's, it's this, is it broader field, do you think, or more depth of competition? Yeah, there's definitely more depth. Mm -hmm. uh, and I think you're seeing an uh, insanely competitive under-23 field as well. Mm -hmm. And right, it's really right. cool when you see under-23 racers that are not just good as an under-23, but they're good as um, as a professional as well, it's like yeah. it's, that's really exciting. It's consistent. Yeah. I have a question for you on on your Twitter page. It says you ride with a guardian angel. Mm -hmm. and cyclists are very superstitious. They're mm -hmm. taking their numbers. They put them upside down. They don't do certain things, you know, before a race. Who's your guardian angel? My dad. Uh, he was a cyclist for a really long time, but he passed away. Four years ago today, actually. Oh, I'm so sorry, yeah. he, uh, I just feel like he's there with me when I'm riding, and I've had, I feel like he's saved me a couple times from a couple of really bad incidences. So I feel like he's looking over me and watching what I'm doing, and even if he can't always help me, I know that he's like still there and That's great. rooting for me. I'm sure he would, he would be very pleased and very happy to see how well you've done and, and to see how much fun you're having with it. I mean, there's no, there couldn't possibly be a better thing for a parent. Um, that's wonderful. Thanks. Any questions you want to ask me or you want me to ask you so you can answer them? You'll think of it as soon as you, you head up. That's Probably. right. That's, yeah, no, that's great. All right. Um, anything else, you guys? Yep. All done. Thank you. Great, Ellen. Wow. Thanks, Thanks so much.